and no one wants to go there still. <clears throat> this sounds like science fiction. It's not. We can't even tongue-in-cheek joke about it being like science fiction because it's so deadly serious. And I'm going to give you a slideshow here <clears throat> of several Time magazine covers, starting, the date is on the left, starting in 1971. And just kind of think, where were you when these covers appeared? I mean, isn't Time Magazine always in the grocery store line? Sort of. I mean, I think. Long next to the, you know, the, yeah, the tabloids. Well, in 1971, this cover touted the new genetics. Man into Superman. Never heard a discussion back then. I don't know what I was doing in 1971. I clearly wasn't paying attention. How about 1977? <clears throat> the DNA Fuhrer tinkering with life. How about 1984? Shaping life in the lab. The boom in genetic engineering. That guy's an interesting guy, isn't it? That's the guy. It's like uh, an evil scientist or something. How about 1994? It's two years after the Rio Convention. Genetics. The future is now. New breakthroughs that can cure diseases and save lives, but how much should nature be engineered? Anybody see any of these along the way? I know. Don't, don't be ashamed if you didn't, didn't raise your hand. I didn't. 1999. Special issue. The future of medicine. Hmm. And the little subtitle down there, How Genetic Engineering Will Change Us in the Next Century. See, there was no, <clears throat> there was no under the cover whispering about this. They flat out said it. But nobody was paying attention. How about 2015? The gene machine. What the CRISPR experiments mean for humanity. This was after, of course, CRISPR technology was invented. That's a snip and clip way to change genetic code. 2015. <clears throat> and then here's another magazine. Scientific American that came out with a cover, uh, Progress and Controversy, Genetic Engineering. And the reason I put this in was point 0.1.2 down in the middle of the white spot. The RNA revolution, just so you could get it. I want to make the connection here <clears throat> that when you talk about the RNA revolution, people argue with me, well, that's not DNA bull. They don't know what they're talking about. It isn't DNA truly, but it's an intricate part of the system of how the body functions. So <clears throat> we have, of course, 1.3, an on-off switch for genes. 